Um, just a quick one to say a uh, big thank you to Decker Heggy. Um, he had me on his on his uh, podcast last night. Um, do you know something? I had um, had my nose rebuilt. Uh, 2014. So anyone who kind of knew me years ago, my nose used to be like a lot flatter. So I had this, um, I had like a kind of, this kind of like scaffold in, if you like. And uh, I, I can't, I don't really breathe out of my nose. So um, I think that's a lot of the times, I mean, I, I, honestly, the amount of, the amount of times the trolls they'll put he's on drugs he's on drugs he's on sniff absolute shit i'm not on anything apart from cbd oil and uh antidepressants uh, and my wife's pajamas at the minute uh and a dodgy haircut as well i'm going back to that joker look but before i've got to get past the joker look i've got to get past that well, hello, Clarice. You will tell me if those lambs stop screaming now, won't you? Fly, fly, fly. And then if I do that, a fucking shootout, right? It's a fucking shootout. The coolest. I'm a, I'm a man. I'm a man of di many different appearances, a bit like Ted Bundy. Uh, no, do you know something? But yeah, I do. I suffer from anxiety really, really bad. Um, I have good days. And uh, I have bad days, but there's. Uh, I'm gonna put a picture on this video of what I look like when I had my nose rebuilt tomorrow. Uh, so that was 2014. So I was like the elephant man. Um, so I don't tend to breathe out my nose. So when I'm talking, talking, talk, 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 and then they'll go. So that's that's what the problem is. <clears throat> and then I have. That's the anxiety ticks. Um, so I had my blood tested the other week and that was fine. And uh, I'm at the hospital on Tuesday to get my chest x-rayed, cause that's fine, but I need to rule everything out. So I need to get to the bottom of this problem. Um, so if there's any silly daft trolls, I'm not on drugs. I really wish I, I had the money to be, you know, listen, I've done all that years ago when I was a kid. I'm not going to pretend I haven't, um, but I'm 41 now and, you know, I'm not not interested. I haven't really, really not interested. Everyone's been through a silly stage, uh, but, you know, sometimes when I might look like I'm on, anyone who's really close to me will know, and that's just like me every single day, uh, but it just gets a bit... You know, it was nice talking to Decker last night. Um, he uh, He's experienced the same things. And I do I have good days and I have the bad days. And the bad days are... And, you know, and I really probably shouldn't be on it. Um, but I think, you know what, why? Why should I be put down and why should I have the piss took out of me? Um, for stuff that's not even really my fault. And I know I'm going to get to the problem... I'm going to get it sorted at the minute. Um, but yeah, it's something that I can't really help at the minute. Uh, other than, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not, I don't really get nervous or nothing um, f mentally, you know, because I've done, I've done a lot of stand-ups, a lot of evening whiffs. But about the last five years, I started with um, anxiety issues. Uh, and that's what kind of come to the surface, even though I don't feel like it. Um, I do kind of come across as very kind of anxious, um, but I'm not on drugs, uh, and that's that. I've got a dodgy hairstyle, and that's all I'm guilty of. Um, my game for the next couple of years is just going to be absolutely smashing books out. Um, you know, I always really admired James English because when, when I used to speak to him, he gave me a lot of um, he gave me a lot of um, advice. And he, you know, I used to admire the, uh, the, his attitude, and it was just like, you know what, focused, and forget them little bits on the side. Um, he, you know, I'm, I'm going to be the biggest podcast in the world, and and my plan is to be, 
there's 330 water stones in, in Great Britain and I plan on just absolutely taking over the, the, the book world. You know, I don't care how, people, how many people out there have never met me, hate me. I've got a plan and, uh, you know, I provide, to, this is this is how I provide for my family. So I'm not interested in, oh, you fucking fat lesbian and all that. Listen, there's a lot of people get out there. You can have a look at the Mother Teresa videos. And uh, they will they'll be guaranteed that one was a saint on earth, and there'll, so there'll be dislikes on that video. Um, James English, handsome model, ex footballer, but people take the piss out of him because he's got a suntan and his teeth and all that. And I'm like, hang on a minute. So what chances of a little knobhead like myself who's trying to wing it through life? So of course I'm going to be absolutely grilled, and some days I take it to heart, and that's where a lot of the anxiety was. Um, was brought on, but I'm, uh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm on it anyway, but, you know, for people out there, it's just, if you see me in the flesh, I probably look like I'm on drugs all the time, uh, I'm quite hyperactive as well, but, you know, all these kind of, the, the, the little, you know, as you see on the deck of things, like, I can't really do a great deal about it, uh, you know, other than, than go through with the treatment, which I am doing, but a big shout out to Deck Heggy, I'm, uh, I'm a big fan of his, he's been through hell and back, um, you know, he made me laugh last, last night when, when he said, uh, you know, people had him down as being this some kind of like Ted Bundy and I, I've had it, you know, you, a lot of you will read some of the things about me, all complete utter nonsense. There's, um, I can't go into it at the minute for legal reasons, but there is, um, an ongoing case, which will be at the end, people will be aware and they'll realize why I've sat quiet for the last 15, 16 months. A, a, a vendetta a hair campaign um but you know i'm going to go through with the proper channels because i worked hard these last couple of years um and i defy just lola i used to try and drag my name through the mud which has happened defamation slanderous utter nonsense um and you know you're going to see but decker has been through really really bad uh sean atwood really really bad and uh anyone in the limelight is there to be shot at anyone who was kind of remotely successful people will hate him and i can't fucking stand him and why you don't know him you've never met me you know you live in cornwall you live in bournemouth but you know you ask yourself why why do you hate someone you've never even met um i'm no different i write books uh, I make livings, I pay registered charities, which is a, a lot more than, I'm not banging on it, I don't want to pat on the back, but, you know, it does bug me sometimes when people who give nothing to no one, and, uh, and they're actually the ones who kind of slag people off, but, you know, uh, I'm, I've had the worst last couple of years, Decker's had the worst, and uh, dusted myself off, I was a bit down last night, and people were like, oh, he's on drugs, oh, he's got this, and fuck off, I had anxiety problems, and if that makes me guilty of being a bad person, then so be it. But, um, you know, I'm going to get it sorted out. And and uh, the sky's the limit for myself and War Cry Publishing, who I love dearly, wouldn't work for anyone else, trust them implicitly. And there's a lot of other people, can I just say, who are very happy before, you know, listen, you've heard the, the lies, the slanders dragged through the mud. But if you want to go speak to Steve Rafe, your Paddy Maloney's, your Bob and Dave's, your Gary Shaw's, uh, let me have a look. Uh, um, Paul Venice's, um, yeah, you know, the, I mean, Alan Thompson, uh, you know, they're a proper company and we, we do things properly, apart from a certain few of, you know, it's uh, tried to assassinate those, but it hasn't worked. And uh, I think the bigger picture will come out at the end and in a couple of weeks, although I'm not allowed to say at the minute, but certainly people who kind of try to ruin us will legally now be held responsible because I've not missed anything. Every bit of evidence, every screenshot, all the, uh, I'm a sexual deviant, uh, although I'm trying to open a boxing gym as well. So all them kind of worst kind of things you can say in life have been kept, evidence has been given, and uh, I just say people will answer to that. And um, and yeah, you know, and then we'll see, who, we'll see who the real trolls are, we'll see who the real bullies are. And that's all I'm going to say. But big shout out to Decker Heggy. Thank you for looking after me last night, mate. You made me feel really good. I had a bit of a wobble last night. But uh, as I said, you know, if I wasn't on fucking drugs, I'm sat in my kitchen with my son. 
got my, you know, I don't even know why I didn't last night, but I've got the missus pyjama top one tonight. But, but listen, that's as far as, um, you know, the, the wife just said to me, Jamie, you haven't just eaten two Kit Kats, have you? It's a Friday night, and I think, you know, as much as, we've all had issues in our lives, but I've got to a point now where the biggest thing I do now is, I've had two Kit Kats, and, uh, and I've got a dodgy haircut. But listen, guys, I really appreciate your interest, support to this channel. Uh, I'm not really much of a podcaster. Um, yeah, I don't really want to be. You know, books is my game, documentaries is my game. Um, you know, but we do have to speak with people these next, you know, we have, we have products, um, we have products that we have to sell and push on, but, uh, no, you know, sometimes it's nice to just, it's quite therapeutic for me to just have a chat. Um, so you'll notice as well, a lot of my, I'm nowhere near as bad as I was last night because I'm on my own. But so if I go and talk to someone, that's when I'm like, you know, so I am getting sorted anyway, but listen, yeah, I'm on, uh, CBD oil is, is the only drug, kind of drug I'm taking. But thanks, Decker. Thanks for your time. I'm a big fan, guy, uh, brother. And uh, God bless. Have a great weekend. Thank you.